So that right there is the player's exit. Oh, to do the legends walk through that. Come on. See after I'm going right there. Aaron Wan Bisaka signing autographs right there. So that's one Bisaka. One Bisaka right there. Whoa! One Bisaka. Set the head up straight for a private jet to the Africa Cup of Nations. He's in a rush world in no time. Galo in front of him. There goes Scott McTominay. Kobe! A draw that must have felt like a loss to many Man United supporters. Look at the sad faces of all these fans leaving Old Trafford. You would think Manchester United got beat at home, but that's exactly what you get. Tens of thousands of people leaving. All these are United supporters walking sad after what looked like an was going to be an easy win for United. Trust me, they are now feeling every bit of the cold. Before this, no one was feeling the cold. But this is what's happening at the exit of the Sir Alex Ferguson stand. I'm going to go pick my bag. That's where we drop, we drop the bags. The bag drop is right there. People are going to pick their bags, but I, I haven't seen anyone smiling. There are lots of people. If you can see... A lot more of them this way. <clears throat> this is a huge car park, all, all filled with cars. But look at the people all rushing home. It's so cold now. The failure to win must have made it feel colder. Ah, goodness. I'm freezing. Just like everyone else, you see here, the United, the Spurs supporters perhaps won't be. Yeah, but look, that's what's happening. Traffic will definitely be mad. I hear some noise. Maybe those are Spurs supporters happy about the. So there you go. That's what happens when you don't win at Old Trafford. That's exactly what happens. People live sad. There you go. There you go. United again putting on another confusing performance, I would say. Have good moments, then you throw away game, a good game. Marcus Rashford having a good game, then making some wrong decisions again. Making good runs, at times failing to know when to reduce the pace. So listen to some fun reactions. The first half was really entertaining. Um, both our strikers played really well, Holland and Rashford. However, uh, after we considered early in the second half, um, the team's motivation seems to be a bit lower and they were not really tempted to play a bit better. So I can say that we could have improved if we um, played with the same momentum as how we played in the first half. Yeah. How, what, your player ratings? I want to name a player and rate them out of 10. 
I would say out of ten. Um, seven. Diogo Dalot. Um, seven. Juan Bisaka. Seven. Marcus Rashford. Um, eight. Rasmus Hoyland. Um, eight point five. Yeah. Um, Kobe Maino. Uh, sorry. Um, Kobe Maino. Um, six. I don't think he had a good match this time. It was a bit challenging for him. Yeah. Alejandro Ganacho. Um, six point five as well. It was a bit quiet this today. Yeah. So who was your man of the match? Sorry. Who was your man of the match? Um, Holland. Yeah. Holland. Then, uh, what do you think we need to do to improve the team? I would say, summer? um, possibly sign less players and keep on improving the same place as we have right now. Yeah. Do you think this team can finish in the top four? Sorry? Do you think this team can finish in the top four? Ah uh, yeah, I don't think we can reach top four anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which player do you think we should sign? We should, we should sell in the summer. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have enough knowledge for this. So it's over an hour since the game ended, but trust you me, Manchester is still buzzing now. This is the street leading to the main gate of Old Trafford. But just opposite that street is this place called the Trafford. Now, the Trafford is probably the signature Manchester United bar, pub or bar, where fans of the club go immediately after the game and have a beer or two. Now, if you come closer, unfortunately, I probably can't go in and record. But if you come closer, if you sneak in and you see lots of people in there, People are singing and chanting Manchester United songs. It's it's a fun day. Business is still buzzing. People are still celebrating the draw. Of course, for those who are happy about the draw, they are still celebrating. As you can see in there, that's exactly what's going on. So it's a it's a it's a fun a, a fun place. People are having a beer. If I cross the road this way for you to get a proper view, because I don't want you know to go in there while recording. I might get kicked out but from here you can get a proper view of the Trafford now this is the definition of enjoying football the Premier League way the voices in there are too loud people are enjoying their beer while you know reflecting on the game of course the sad ones who are feeling the, the cold are leaving home as you can see with their somber faces but there's one thing that is common with everyone everyone is holding their beer you can see people have been selling their stuff here. Of course, they are closing off now. A few of those hoping for one more customer. I just had a nice hot dog there at the burger and fries car there. Spot. Yeah, the sad ones are leaving. So you can imagine the, the joy of... Uh, of a football match so these are all united supporters the street, there's been lots of traffic i told you it's just about two hours since the game ended now but traffic here was mad it's still mad right here so football in the in this place it's not by mistake that the premier league is the most supported league in the world but also the cost of things is too high you saw me buy a maino in my my last video in a maino this my my you know badge for four pounds now four pounds is, is should be a lot of money uh i just bought a, a hot dog for about six pounds just you know sausage and bread if i would call it to just put it simply for you so football makes businesses boom here as you can see so if you look there old travel is still within the reach